Hey, this is Dina, and welcome to the Den. Now, in the late 80s and early 90s, um, when I was still desperately trying to hang on to my Atari 2600, one of my favorite things to do was to go down to this corner store that always had a couple of arcade machines set up. Now, I played some pretty good games down there, but when I think about those times, the game that instantly comes to mind is definitely Golden Axe. And remember, kids, winners don't use drugs. Except steroids. Those are okay. I'm sorry, but I pretty much always choose the female character unless she, like, really sucks. It's just kind of a girl power thing, I guess. Boy, this game is just brutal right from the beginning. I mean, your friend comes limping in, all drenched in blood, using his sword as a crutch. And then he just drops dead right in front of you! Man, I love this game. Speaking of brutal, look what the bad guys do. He is kicking an old lady! I'm gonna put a stop to that nonsense right now. All kidding aside, though, I just love the look of this game. I mean, it may look kind of dated, but it's just... It's, it's really good art. It's like a... I like to think of it as a Boris Vallejo painting come to life, because I'm a fan of Boris Vallejo, but I mean, you know, it's like a... It's all, it could almost be based on Conan or He-Man or something. It's just that kind of sort of medievalish fantasy type setting with lots of sword fighting and magic use and monsters. And that stuff's always fun. And it's very well represented here. The skeletons are cool, but they are such a pain in the ass to fight. Yeah, taste my blade, bitch! Ugh! Stay up there! This is a really cool looking level, but you don't get the full effect of it until the very end. Oh! Oh, look at that! You were riding on the back of a giant eagle that whole time and you didn't even know. Of course, I guess the giant feathers and the... All the clouds flying by should have tipped you off, but... They didn't. What the hell were you smoking? He's got pretty blue eyes, too. Check it out, this is one of my favorite things about this game. BAM! Just knock someone off their dragon and take it from them. Yeah, dragons aren't very loyal, apparently. They'll just... side with whoever the hell happens to be riding on them at the time. Yeah, just like a hooker! Shut up, Lee! Where was I? Oh, yeah. You can be really cheap with the dragons, too. That's why they're such a hot commodity. Now, this game was really good looking for its time, but what you also have to keep in mind is that, as I said, I was still playing my Atari 2600 at the time. So, when I was playing my games at home, and then going to the corner store and playing those arcade games, I was basically going from this... ...to this. Here it comes! Whoosh! Yeah, take that. Bam! Big difference in quality and presentation there, so you can see why I was so impressed. And I just got so hooked on this game. I mean, now that I'm older, I think back to how much money I wasted on just getting quarters to play this game, and it just it makes me cringe to think how much money I wasted on it. But sadly, the game did not stay there forever, and it was eventually switched out for another game. I think it was that side-scrolling uh, Punisher game where you could play as the Punisher or Nick Fury. And that game's okay, but it's not Golden Axe. It was at this point that my Atari 2600 was finally on its last legs, and my parents allowed me to buy a new video game system. Of course, I found out that... Uh, Golden Axe was available on Sega Genesis, but of course the Genesis was way too expensive at the time, so I ended up getting an NES for a while. And I did play some good games on that, I am glad I had my NES, but oh my god, I wanted a Genesis so much more. It took a very long time, I think it was uh, around the time the NES finally phased out. I finally got my Genesis, and of course the first game I got was Golden Axe. Now, as a standalone thing, there is really nothing wrong with the Genesis version. I mean, it plays well, it looks really good for a Genesis game, 
and all the important aspects are there. I mean, this is Golden Axe, there's no mistaking that. And while I did notice the differences between the Genesis and the arcade version, it really didn't bother me at the time. I didn't care, I was just happy to be playing Golden Axe again. Although, now that I've had a chance to play the arcade version again, I definitely prefer that over the Genesis version. I mean, I know that goes without saying, of course the arcade version is going to be better, but it's just kind of interesting noticing the differences, so just for fun, I'm going to point them out here. Well, this is kind of random. They've all been mirrored, so the ones that were left-handed were right-handed and vice versa. Whatever. Yeah, we don't get to see Alex get killed in the Genesis version, we just get to hear our character talk about it. Obviously has a lot less impact. This one, though, is just unforgivable. Look what they did to my eagle. I mean, I know the Genesis has a limited number of colors and all that. It just seems that they could have done something with that eye to make it look a little more interesting. It wouldn't have to be blue, but they could have made it stand out somehow. Now, here's something I never noticed until I compared the two side by side. The colors on the Genesis version are really garish, whereas in the arcade version they're much more subtle, almost pastel. The arcade version's color scheme definitely fits the mood of the game a lot better. Here's something I always thought was cool. Every once in a while, a crowd of terrified, screaming villagers runs past you. And here's what you get in the Genesis version. Yeah, I'd say the arcade version handled that a bit better. Death Adder's entrance in the arcade version? Ew. And Death Adder's entrance in the Genesis version. Look, we can't even see his head. Oh, oh, there he is! Wow. Another neat little detail that's missing is that you don't see the bad guys beat up on civilians in the Genesis version. I used to think that this had to do with the limitations of the Genesis, but now that I think of it, I think they were just trying to leave out some of the more brutal scenes. That would also explain why they left out Alex's death in the beginning. This was pre-Mortal Kombat, after all. <laughs> very, very pre-Mortal Kombat. In fact, Golden Axe was a really early Genesis game, so all things considered, it looks damn good.